Hey guys, Dia here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from Walmart. I stopped in to see what kind of candles they have recently and um, kind of surprised that I don't remember ever seeing these candles at Walmart before. I did used to go to Walmart off and on to take a look at their candles before I really got heavily into buying Bath and Body Oil. I'll jump right into that and then I've got some follow-up on the Goose Creek and Kringle candles. The candle that I bought from Walmart is Salted Beechwood and Embers. Looks like this. And the lid looks like that. On the lid it says Wooden Wick, which that is what it has. It's not very strong. You can smell, it does smell like beechwood and embers just as it as described. Um, it has black wax and it has that wooden candle. Um, I think I did burn this one just to check it out because I've never had a wooden um, wick candle before. And I, lo I love wooden wick candles. Wow, this is, I, I like the way it burns. It's, um, and it crackles like a fire, like it just keeps crackling. Now, would I call this scent very strong on burn? No. I mean, you could smell it better on cold, I guess. You know, it didn't really, I, I put it in different areas. I put it in my office, I put it in my downstairs, put it in my entryway. And yeah, it wasn't very strong. So I didn't burn this one halfway yet, but um, I mean, I like it. So it was my first, wooden wick candle so it was worth buying so that is salted beechwood embers second witch's cauldron <laughs> candle that i picked up it is like a witch's cauldron just look at it so this one is called salted honey and vanilla this was at a different walmart it really doesn't have much of a scent at all it has that type of top and the wooden wick um did burn this one as well not strong i mean i wish they would come out with stronger scents for these you would think by the looks of these that they would be very strong but they're not so there's salt and honey and vanilla and the last candle i picked up which is not a witch's cauldron candle is uh lemon balm and cedar so it says it's highly fragranced premium wax blends orange neroli jasmine and others on cold it smells very strong it smells like a sweet tart like maybe some kind of lemon sweet tart candy so i did end up burning this one as well this one unfortunately doesn't have a wooden wick but two wick it wasn't that strong so i was kind of surprised because on cold it's very strong but um, I'm just going to give this one more of a chance because you never know with these candles. So that is lemon balm and cedar. I'm going to do a follow up on some of the candles that I bought in my last video for my last haul. So uh, it was my first time trying Kringle and just trying Goose Creek again. And um, so Kringle Do Not Worry, which this one seems to be pretty popular on YouTube. But um, that's, this is how this one's burning so far. Um, it, it smells vanilla. Now it doesn't even have that vanilla smell. And I could have overburned this one. Look at the way the wax looks now. I could have overburned this one. I think I did let this one go like for four hours, but it smells like a different candle. It doesn't smell anything like donuts whatsoever. It doesn't smell sweet smells like perfumey or something like that and what I was kind of shocked at is it's kind of a bakery donut candle but it doesn't have any kind of bakery smell to it besides the vanilla so I don't know what's up with that and also with Goose Creek I did burn this candied rose cake I think the scent is going away on this one but wow this one got very strong about a quarter of a burn down so I'm got about this much left of this candle it doesn't have much of a smell left on cold now it's like almost like nothing no scent at all i mean the wax is burning nice and clean no dirty looking sooty stuff on the inside yeah i don't smell anything so but it did burn very very strong 
Worth, was it worth what I paid for it? Eh, yeah, I guess so. So, that is Goose Creek Candy Bros Cake. And then the last one, the very surprise one that really picked up really super strong, like I was shocked, is the Netherlands Stroopwafel by Goose Creek. Um, now, I did burn a lot of this one. This is what's left, not sooty, kind of clean. I mean, it's not very clean, but it's just, you know, it's not really dirty sooty like the Kringle Candle is. I think I've almost burned the smell out of this one too. I don't know, what do they do? Put like heavily fragranced wax underneath the first quarter and then it's real heavy fragrance and then it just goes to nothing toward the middle. That's what it seems like with the last three I was talking about. So, eh. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. So there's Goose Creek, Netherlands. And then finally, waffles and ice cream from Goose Creek. As I said in my last video, wow, I wish I would have bought this in a three wick. This was actually, in a one wick is good enough. I mean, wow, it's very, it's very strong. It's very bakery bready. So I don't exactly smell like the ice cream. I do smell some vanilla, but um, definitely bakery, baked, baked goods, fried up bread. I like this one. Uh... I don't know. I've got another shipment coming from Bath and Body Works. Yes, I did. I had a 25% off, so why not? And they have the lemon pound cake in candle form. Getting some of those. Getting some backups of other candles, Paris Cafe, um, etc. And so looking forward to that. Also, the lemon pound cake body spray and hand soap yeah you can say I really I really love that scent I did get the lotion and the body wash from Bath and Body Works the, the lemon pound cake and it is amazing it is amazing if you like bakery type scents that smells really authentic the lemon pound cake from Bath and Body Works body wash lotion and I'm going to try out the other ones that's coming so body spray etc um, but I would definitely <laughs> take a look into those if you like gourmand scents, bakery scents, things like that. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like it. Um, if you want to stay up to date with my videos, you can subscribe if you want. Um, it's free. Anyway, take care.